Hey there, welcome to day 16 of our 365 day challenge, BU 365 day challenge. Do one thing every day that improves us and moves us toward what it is that we want to become. The best version of ourselves is something that we're always striving for, or something I'm always striving for, and you probably are too if you're listening to me. So the Soul Framework, we are on the P today, so I call this PP Life, because we're going to talk about the P for progress in the Soap Framework, and we're going to use a tool called the Lifeline Process to... Uh, share this. Now, I learned about this. I was probably, it was my first job out of college. It was the first time I actually remember using the lifeline process. Now, it's a lot like a timeline. Remember history class where we all had and we would see and learn timelines of events, like think of the different types of dinosaurs or think of the periods of man, different developmental uh, stages of mankind, or I guess that's more biology or uh, but it's also history or history, the history of wars, you know, the different key events that happened that led up to cause and during a, a battle or war. Um, so we've all been exposed to timelines. Well, this tool is called a lifeline. And the only difference is we're going to graph our own personal life. So here's an example of a timeline I started and did for myself. And on it, all we do is we put our birth date on the far left hand corner. And then on the right, I like to put a continuous arrow because I don't plan on dying anytime soon. And then I put the current year and I leave a little space to add on as events happen in this current year. Now, this is my one from last year. I haven't done today's or this year's yet, but I will. And some of these events will stay on there. Some of them won't. But what we're going to do is we're going to look for, especially with respect to our physical life and and focus on the thing that we're working on as we go through the soul framework, as we look at the physical challenge, the thing that we want. So, for example, I want to pick and achieve my goal for my interim weight by my birthday. So, <clears throat> I picked an interim rate. I, my current story was I wasn't making interim smaller goals with respect to my weight in particular. I was lots, almost every other area of my life, but that was one area I was ignoring. So, I chose to say, okay, this is my interim weight. This is where I am now, and I got on the scale, and this is where I want to be by my birthday. And then I looked at options for the different ways of, of achieving that. I took action yesterday, and I'm starting to drink these lovely shakes as part of it, exercising every day, and, and doing a bunch of other little things, because the little things that I can work into my daily routine and my daily schedule already are the things that are going to get me from where I am to where I want to go. Now, how do I know if I'm making progress? That's what the P in the framework is all about. Am I moving closer to what I want or am I moving further away from what I want? Am I staying stuck in the same place or am I making progress? Sometimes we'll have big leaps of progress. Other times we'll just have little minutes. Sometimes we'll go back and forth. It's different. All of our experiences are different. So this timeline exercise, you just make a timeline of the key events in your life. So I will make one today. And as far as my physical life goes, I will put in the key <clears throat> events and experiences in my life where it had something to do with my weight, where I probably where I was heavier, where I was at my ideal weight, where I was less than my ideal weight. That I've actually had a couple of experiences like that, etc. And I will graph that all out and I will look at it. And what am I looking for? I'm looking for ahas. I'm looking for patterns. I'm looking for uh, things I can learn about myself, lessons I can learn about myself and my life, and what kind of things might be interacting with one another to create the results I do or do not want. Now, I don't want my weight to go up, but I've found that whenever I'm sick or have certain types of illnesses, my weight goes up. Whenever I'm bored or not happy, my weight goes up. So I already know some of the some of the correlations and some of the patterns that I want to change and avoid. But it's just a pictorial way of looking at what's going on. And as we work through and continue to, to go in different areas and examine different areas for the, in the different months this year through the challenge, we will pull out this lifeline exercise again. So I say get a big piece of paper, a poster board or cardboard or something you can roll up and hide if you don't want other people to see it. And uh, plan on look, pulling it out at least once a month. I, I didn't plan on that until just now as we're talking about it but I think we should pull it out once a month so we plot our life and we look at the interrelationship between the other areas of our life as we learn them and go through them and dive deep into them so for example this this month is all about our physical 
health, our physical well-being. Next month's about our emotional health, our emotional well-being. So we can grab this out and then grab on here. What are the high and low events? What are the key significant emotional events? What are the key significant physical events that have happened to us in our life that we want to look at? And, and a lot of them won't have emotional charge anymore, right? Like if I think about, uh, all right, in my 20s, I was bedridden for quite a long time, um, like three years almost, almost all because of illnesses and sicknesses. And I gained a ton of weight and I felt terrible and I had no self-confidence. All those things are interrelated because I was physically sick. There was there were things wrong with me that the doctors couldn't even figure out. So <clears throat> that would be a, a period on my, on my time frame where my weight would be higher, but I also know that it was because I was physically sick. Both of those are physical type things, but they're also impacted and interrelated to all the other areas and aspects of my life, right? If you're bedridden, you're not working, so your finances are low. Luckily, I was young enough that I could have my parents be helping me and supporting me. Not everybody has that situation where they do have support when they're sick. So that's our action item today. Get a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard or a poster board or a dry erase board. I used to do mine <clears throat> in my office. I had a great big office. And so I had a special room where I just could fold the board shut and I just had my lifeline on there and I just drew out my lifeline. And then I could dry erase, I could move stuff, I could erase stuff, I could add and take things away. And I did that for a couple of years, but then I uh, moved to a different office and didn't have that, that private space anymore. And I, everybody doesn't need to see my lifeline. It's, it's only about me learning about and understanding myself better. So do this and then all you have to do for your action item today is share one thing <clears throat> excuse me, cloggy throw from that shake, in the comments that you learned or how you felt about doing the exercise. Have you ever done it? Just share one thing about the exercise. Or if you think it's poppycock and it's dumb and you don't want to do it, that means you need to do it. I've learned that whenever I think something is, I already know it or it's not going to add any value to me, and when I'm pushing against and resisting it, it's because that's my subconscious telling me that I don't want to do it. Well, I don't want to do it because I need it. I need to do it. The most. That's how it works with me anyway. So timeline lists events that were important to you or are important to you with respect to your physical life and well-being. And physical is actually one of the easiest to do because it's things that actually happen to and involving us. So those things are easiest to map out. That's why I like to start with the physical things. Okay, what are the things that really events and physical things that happen? You know, maybe puberty, menopause, uh, you know, whatever you want to put on your timeline is up to you. But start graphing out. Doesn't have to be neat. Obviously, neatness does not matter or count, right? I've got lifelines drawn in all kinds of my little notebooks. I don't even have my notebook. Here we go. All my little challenge notebooks. I have a, at least one timeline every for I have at least 10 timelines drawn out in there and I've used this one just as a basis to start to say it starts out not so bad but as you grab points on for different areas and aspects of your life it gets really messy but that's life is right life can be very messy any questions ask please ask because this is a fun exercise I'm sure that you could google it and learn about it but if you just want the shortcut answer and you have a quick question just ask and I'll be glad to answer it because chances are if you have that question somebody else does too. Have an awesome day. Have fun with this exercise and I will be with you tomorrow.